either this has fixed it I've had a drip on these dual kitchen taps I'm not sure which one is actually dripping this tap has been dripping since the COVID-19 lockdown and I haven't tackled it because I was concerned that I wouldn't have the right washers to do it just when you're making a video what you need is your three-legged dog Skippy to come in and decide to drink out of a bowl he hardly ever uses Skip are you alright sweet boy? Are you alright? Good boy Skip, good boy. As these two taps are quarter turn clockwise I imagine that they've got ceramic insert valves in them. I don't actually have any valves at the moment and I'm going to fix them by putting a washer in each valve. And this is how you do it. So I've turned off the water supply and I've drained down the water. And the ends of the taps there's these caps and what you need to do is to screw them off. I'll do the hot side first. As you can see it just comes off. Part of that somewhere where I can find it. Make sure you put the plug in the plug hole uh, so you don't lose any screws. Inside here there is a, a screw so I will just unscrew that. And that's exactly the reason why you put the plug in the plug hole. Then on this tap you actually need to unscrew this section, it's only got a small thread on it, in order to get access to the valve so that holds the washer in place. So what I now do is unbolt this. We have the reason for the towel at the back because we're going to get some water coming out. The remainder of the water. The concern I had was that I wouldn't have the right washers to do this and in fact pulling this out has confirmed it. This isn't a standard washer valve this is a ceramic insert valve. I'm not sure I've got the right washer to do this but I'm going to go ahead and fix it anyway. If you look up these valves they're generally sold as a complete unit uh, on the grounds that you can't actually repair them. Rather than 50 cents for a washer they're 20 to 60 dollars for a ceramic unit. I'm not willing to pay that so I'm going to fix this. What you need to do is to press this out. You can use a small screwdriver and just push that out and there it is. Now if you don't have a washer at the moment and you've got a lot of dripping as an emergency thing what you can do is you can take that and you can turn it over and put it back in again okay and what that will do is it will give you a new surface but that's only a very short term fix but what I need to do is to put a new washer in there the ceramic insert valve has the ceramics and then a thin washer and then a double brass collet and then the large washer at the end. If you check the thin washer it most likely just has a small amount of scale on it and you can rub that off gently with your finger. You need to clean the brass insert on either side. Make sure that there's no lime scale on it. So I bought this Fixman set of washers and as you can see they're all different sizes and shapes so I'll just find an appropriate to replace the one that's there. The two washers inside these ceramic valves are coloured red and blue obviously hot and cold but as I say they're a particularly strange size and shape the nearest I've got is that but as you can see it doesn't fit either in height or in thickness however this is slightly bigger so if I insert this into the tap and then put the valve in behind it it should then cause the valve to shape that washer in line with this red or the blue one and therefore work that's the theory we'll put it into practice so here's the replacement washer and what I need to do is to put that inside the hole in there as you can see it'll go in and then to screw this back in place Okay, so that's that side done and now what I'll do is I'll just do the other side I uh, won't put all this back on until such time as I'm ready because there's no point in putting it all back together again until such time as you've tested it so I'll do the other side I'm going to put this plug now in that hole make sure I don't lose anything I 
that's the reason for the plug cover. Unscrew that. The ceramic insert valve has the ceramics and then a thin washer and then a double brass collet and then the large washer at the end. If you check the thin washer, uh, the end section with the washers comes out, it most likely just has a small amount of scale on it and you can rub that off gently with your finger. You need to clean the brass insert on either side. Make sure that there's no lime scale on it. The integrity of it seems pretty good. So it could just be a bit clogged up and then I'll replace the other washer. Okay, so I've screwed the two ends on. So the water's back on and we've got no drips, which I'm really, really pleased about. And let me just uh, turn these and just see what happens. That's the hot. Turn that off. That's great. Now just check the cold. Did you catch that? <laughs> Hold on to the handle when you do that. I just absolutely soaked myself. <laughs> God, that was funny. Absolutely soaked. And while it's in pieces, there's a good chance I can clean it up a bit with some vinegar and a piece of leather. So I've polished this up in a few minutes because lime scale is really difficult to remove and this is the other one from the other side and this is how to really easily clean it. What you need is a container, in this case I'm using a saucer, a vinegar and an old piece of leather. Now I watch people throw away all kinds of leather things all the time but before you do if the rubbish always cut pieces off them because it's extremely useful. And basically to clean this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it in the vinegar. Make sure it gets wet on all sides. And then I'm going to take the leather and dip it in the vinegar and then I'm going to very, very gently rub the piece of chrome with the leather. And anybody like me who's been in the military will know that leather's really, really good at polishing things because usually you'd have to use it on your brasses to make your buckles and your buttons shine. Okay, just keep dipping it in there. Go around all the edges and really rubbing ever so gently. Now you could dip this in vinegar for quite a long period of time, but you risk damaging chrome and the brass or the brass turning green. Okay, and I'll just do the top. Go around the top like that. Okay, and just dip that in water now. And dry it with a piece of paper tissue. And there you have it, a shiny piece of chrome and all the lime scales gone. It's really that simple. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.